Let's shift our focus for now. There seems to be no respite for the battered global supply chain as well. First trade was followed by COVID-led restrictions, disrupted global supply chains. Now it is the Israel-Hamas war that's distorting them further. Iranian-backed Houthis, drone and missile assaults on ships in the Red Sea have prompted some major shipping companies to in fact halt sending cargoes or reroute vessels around Africa, which is of course time-consuming and more expensive. Our next report is all the details. Take a look. Global energy prices jumped as tensions escalated around the vital shipping route where drone and missile assaults have prompted some companies to halt sending cargoes. Red Sea shipping comes to a complete stop as violence related to the Israel-Hamas conflict threatens to destabilize the world economy. As a result of Houthi attacks, oil tankers are idling and cargo ships are rerouting around Africa. On Monday, two major European oil and gas companies said that their tankers will steer out of the waters off the coast of Yemen. That is a necessary stop for ships that use the Suez Canal to connect Europe and Asia. The latest comes after prominent container ships left the region last week as Houthi rebels backed by Iran escalated their attacks in favor of Hamas. The United States Secretary of Defense announced that the United States and its allies, which include the UK, Canada, France and others, had decided to form a naval task force to fend against assaults on ships in the waters. So, in the Red Sea, we're leading a multinational maritime task force to uphold the bedrock principle of freedom of navigation. Iran's support for Houthi attacks on commercial vessels must stop. Gas prices in Europe rose by 13% in response to the clearest indication yet of an interruption in energy supply since the start of the Gaza war. Tuesday saw increases in Brent oil futures, which had risen as high as 3.9% on Monday. Business from BP to AP Molomersk face longer trips. The disruption will weigh on firms that carry consumer products and commodities like coal, maize and energy supplies. There is considerable wiggle room in the world's supply chains to accommodate the current stresses on capacity. However, the abrupt shutdown of the Suez Canal in 2021 demonstrated the network's vulnerability when important linkages fail. U.S. policymakers are under pressure to respond as international trade comes under threat. The Defense Secretary will call a meeting of ministers to decide the next course of action. However, it's not simple as the region's Gulf allies disagree on the best course of action. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.